Hello, everyone. Happy July 14th. We have made it to the halfway point of Major League Baseball. I'm excited because I'm going to sleep for like four days. <laughs> uh, it's like the best time to have a couple days off. I mean, sports don't really stop, right? Uh, but again, you guys, hey, thanks for watching, subscribing, uh, all that kind of good stuff. So today, again, make sure you do all of that. Also, leave your comments in the comment section here below. We always like to see who you guys are on as well. Also, let's go ahead and check out our multi-capper site, right? It's ogcappers.com where you can find our best of the best plays. I mean, if you love these free ones, you are going to love these. That is for sure. Uh, we had some folks that did some really great work. You can see Nick right there. There's Mark. Hey, there I am. Uh, then, of course, Tony's Picks VIP and Danny Dimes. Mark has been super hot here over the last seven days. You can see Bo and Scott right there. And then, of course, over the last 30, Danny Dimes and Ruben bringing it home for us there. All of our pick packages are profit guaranteed, meaning that if our cappers don't turn a profit, you get credits back to your account. Uh, and also, you guys, use the promo code OG20 to save you 20% off all of your pick packages. We have a little bit of everything that you might like, uh, guaranteed best bets, uh, multi-game packs, multi-day packs there as well. But you guys are here for these freebies today. We've been hot, that's for sure. Another winning day. So let's get to it. 15 here today. If you're not really familiar with how this goes, it is a my Major League Baseball model versus the model set by Vegas with their opening line. So that's what we compare. I track all of my bets. So we are up there into the 3,500 uh, games that we have tracked so far. And because of that, we know with a percentage, a certain confidence factor, how often these plays will hit. And that's what we are giving to you guys, our best of the best statistical plays out of a money line, run line, and totals play. All right. Hopefully you guys are ready. Let's take it full screen and get started. <clears throat> All righty. We got an early game here today with the Yankees and the Orioles. Rodon taking the mound. 6.75 has been elevated over that 4.63. We have Dean Kremer on the mound. 5 ERA over his last three. 4.42 overall here this season, right? I mean, the Yankees pitching, they've been doing okay, but this Orioles bullpen has been pretty awful. <laughs> 4.795 is what they have allowed here in the bullpen. Uh, Yankees offense right now, they're kind of getting it done, hitting the ball around pretty hard. 0.823 on base slugging percentage. I have the Yankees winning this one in a close in a close game, 5-4, to four, but our best play statistically is going to be on the total over 9. So I know we have this coming right in at 9, but there's a little bit of rounding involved. So 59.9% .9 of the time, the play is going to be on the over. Royals and Sox. Hey, there is a lot of VIP here today. We got some statistical ties, basically. So you can get yourself a three-pack here out of the VIP plays today. So with 66.7% confidence factor, this is going to be the play. If you want this one, go to ogcappers.com, find the VIP pick package selection, and use that promo code OG20 to save you 20% off at checkout. Next up is going to be A's versus Phillies. We have Estes on the mound, 6.75 over his last three games, 5.53 ERA over the 2024 season. Now, Estes is a guy that pitches terribly away from his home ballpark. <laughs> then we have Kirkering on the mound here for the Phillies. He has a 1.3 ERA in, on this 2024 season. Um, A's right now only hitting 216. We're going to go ahead and go under this total. It's coming in at nine. Total is set at 10. This one here is 61.5% of the time. The play is going to be on the under. Rockies and Mets. This has been a fun one. Lots of scoring. I don't think it's going to stop here today, right? We have Marquez on the mound. It's going to be basically a bullpen game here for the Rockies. It's the same thing like with Quintana. He's been, you know, relatively new back into the lineup. Uh, 3.91 ERA over this 2024 season as well. Rockies bullpen, we talk about them. They've been absolutely terrible. 5.87 runs 
uh, will help make this go over the total. The Mets offense right now is 12.9% higher than the league average in all of those offensive categories. I have the Mets winning this one here on the run line, seven to four. Uh, but of course, our best statistical play is going to be that 59% on the total over. Let's get that over again. Let's do it. All right. It's going to be the Marlins versus the Reds. It's Trevor Rogers here for the Marlins. 2.08 ERA over his last three. We have Nick Lodolo on the mound here for the Reds. 9.82 over the short run. 3.3, though, overall. Marlins offense put up some runs yesterday as well as the Reds. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take the Marlins today. We're going to take the plus 150 here on the money line. We're going to finally get ourselves a big money line victory here. 57.1% of the time, this is the play. I have the M's winning this one, five to three. The Marlins offense right now is 4.5% higher than their season average. Let's take them. All right, Guardians and Rays. Ben Lively on the mound, 7.15 ERA in the short term, 3.59 overall. Pepio, Pepe Wheat, Pepio. I don't know. It's a crazy name. <laughs> uh, 2.79 ERA over his last three. 4.2 ERA here this 2024 season. Ah, Guardians here. They haven't been doing well pitching. So we're going to go ahead and go over this total. The Rays offense right now is swinging the bats at 3.2% higher over their season long average over the last three games. I'll get his name right last time. Let's go over the total. I have it coming in at nine with a raise victory five to four. All right. Here's another VIP play. You can see coming in 66.7% of the time. It's one of those ties. We have three of them here today. So you can pick yourself up a three pack at ogcappers.com. All you got to do, go to OG Cappers, uh, find the OG VIP account. And then of course, use that promo code OG20 to save you 20% off at checkout. Three pack of VIP plays is going to be pretty nice today, folks. Let's get it. Ah, here's number three. It's going to be between Washington and the Brewers. Like I said, three VIP plays today coming in at 66.7%, our statistical highest play on the board. It's going to be a good day to go to ogcappers.com, pick up this three pick package, and then, of course, use the promo code OG20 to save you 20%. All right, we have the Rangers and the Astros. It's Scherzer on the mound here for the Rangers. 4.15 ERA over his last three. 309 here this season versus Blanco. 2.84 over the last three games and 2.53 over the 2024 season. Rangers have been struggling here on the offensive side. 4.5% lower than their season average. Averaging 1.5 runs less per game than normal as well. 11.5% lower than their league average in those offensive impact categories. Run scored, batting average, on base percentage, all that kind of good stuff. Rangers only hitting 197 right now. So all of this is going to keep it under the total. It's our best statistical play, 63.5 to the under. Do have the Houston Astros winning this one, 4-3. to three. All right. Pirates, White Sox, Keller on the mound, 4.85 over his last three. We have Schuster on the mound for the White Sox, elevated ERA, 6.23 here. In the short run, White Sox offense is still struggling to score. They're 1.51 runs less than their season average, 4.3% lower uh, in their batting average categories. Man, I'm telling you, they've been failing to show up offensively. And the Pirates right now, they're not doing really all that great. They're not really smacking the ball around here a ton. So we're going to go ahead and go under this total, have it coming in at eight. Pirates win this one five to three. So do have them covering that run line. Cubs, Cards, Tyone, 2.77. ERA over his last three, pretty consistent. Mikolas has been really good here on the short run, 1.46 ERA over his last three games. Cubs bullpen right now has been stellar, on fire, crazy good. Uh, 2.865 is all they have been allowing out of that bullpen. And the Cubs offense right now, they're batting, you know, okay. 
4.5% higher than their season average. We're going to go ahead and take the Cubs here on the run line. Even though I have the Cubs winning this one outright 4-3 to three today, the run line is the better statistical play at the 62.4%. Let's take it. Next. Twins versus Giants. Panic on the mound here for the Twins. 3.6 ERA over his last three. That is down from that 5.18 overall. Snell still doesn't have those three victories that I like to look for coming off of the DL. But right now, his overall season-long average is 7.85. Uh, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to take the Twins. We have them winning this one outright 6-4. But we are going to go ahead and take the Twins here on the run line, okay? We're going to get it coming in at 62.4% of the time. Ah, the Mariners and the Angels. My nemesis uh, yesterday I would have hit all of my parlays if it wasn't for the Mariners. They strike out way too much. But we have Gilbert on the mound here. 4.85 ERA over his last three. We have Fulmer on the mound for the Angels. 2.25. Angels have been kind of struggling to score overall. Mariners offense right now is 9.6% higher than the league average. Uh, even though they didn't get it done there yesterday. Mariners offense have scored 2.74 more than the Angels here over their last three games. So they just kind of had a little bit of a down game uh, yesterday. I'm looking back for them to get it today. Have the Mariners winning this one, four to three, going to the under. Let's take the Mariners on the money line coming in at 59.0%, but looks like also have it coming under that total. All right, here it is, our text play of the day. It features the Braves and the Padres. If you want this one, it is our second highest statistical play on the board today. All you got to do is text the word WIN to 223-203-1821, and we will shoot this play out to you. So we got ourselves a winner yesterday. We're looking to go ahead and do it here again today. Let's go. And the last one on... The board before we hit the all star break is going to be the Blue Jays and the Diamondbacks. Kikuchi on the mound, 2.27 over his last three versus Gallon. Should be a good one. He's been a little bit elevated here, though. 6.75 over the last three, 3.33 over that 2024 season. The Diamondbacks' pull bullpen has been pretty exceptional. Uh, they've been 1.78 less than the Blue Jays here over this series. Diamondbacks, of course, showed up in big way yesterday again. They're hitting 15.1% higher on that overall offensive impact. Diamondbacks' offense are scoring 2.67 under their average, 3.6% less than the Diamondbacks here right now. Let's take the Diamondbacks on the money line, coming in at 65.4%. There we have it. All done for the day, folks. Good luck. Hopefully you guys get lots of winners today. Make sure you check out Bo's video series. You can find that in our shorts section. He goes ahead and gives you his picks for the day so you can get a little bit more consensus for your due diligence. All right, you guys. Hey, we'll be back here in a couple days. Have a good time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.